Welcome to TotallyShopping.tv. I'm Anushka Williams. Is the force with you today? Is the force with you today, Gaz? I think I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone there, who's that? That's I'm just you sure. in the morning, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell me you weren't going to tell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about sorry. that. Sorry. Um, so we're going to do a whole hour now dedicated to Star Wars, uh, which I'm quite excited about, and some really, really special, really quite rare, signatures that we've got so let's let's show you Some the first very one rare got. ones today, very actually. very rare yeah um, so Star Wars framed and mounted celebration stamps sheetlet with GB official Star Wars stamps 45 pounds and 95 pence I always think um, when you get a stamp collection it works as a collectible on so many levels doesn't it well this these are superb really this was produced these are the full set of 12 different characters really key characters including three new ones from the latest Star Wars right. movie. But if you actually, I don't know if you can pan along the top there, you'll probably be able to pick out all the, the various terms. characters. Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so I'm trying to direct now. You see, like, you've got Darth Vader, you know, you've got Odo, you've got uh, Princess Leia, all these great Stormtrooper, mm. you know, Han Solo. There's all these great characters, and you've got three key ones from the new set. But each one of those, what they've got, each, each one of them, you've got 12 different characters portrayed onto genuine GB postage stamps. If you look, each one of them has got the Queen's head yes. in the corner, yes. which proves that they are genuine mm. GB postage stamps. They were brought out about the autumn last year now, but they are very, very, very collectible. Worldwide, right. all the Star Wars fans went for them. They went mad on them. And then what you've got at the bottom is a larger image, which is what's commonly known as a stamp sheet lit. But the graphics on that, look at them. They're absolutely oh, they're amazing, superb. Aren't they? You've got the Star Wing fighters, you've got all those great graphics in there. And collectively, they've put that together to make an amazing montage. Of, of images. These are officially licensed and endorsed by, of obviously, Disney and Star Wars, whatever it mm. is now the name. But they are official product and they were actually reproduced, or these images were produced onto British postage stamps. So you've got the full set of the British, uh, most recent British postage stamps there on what we call um, a stamp sheet lit right. and it's been framed up and it looks just stunning it's actually really big thick frame as well ready to hang on your wall it's a stunning item but it is they've though. proven so so popular <laughs> but really i think have. also if you've got a son a grandson a husband mm. a dad who is into star wars and you know maybe it might be your grandson or your son had the poster on their wall or couldn't yeah. wait for the film to come out because it's it's reached a kind of new audience now i think disney took it over and it's a new audience are now captive Sure. by Star Wars. So this is so much nicer and so much more exciting than having just a poster, isn't it? It is. I mean, Star Wars, as you say, it's been around for so long now, but it has, you know, you go to the conventions, which I go to from time to time. Do you dress and, up? Um, <laughs> no, there's not, mu there's not much in my size. You know. <laughs> I go as I am. They think I'm Jabala, you know, but never mind. That's another You're story. So cruel to <laughs> yeah, You're so I'm cool just with the light off, though, honestly. <laughs> oh, we won't go there. But um, the great thing about that is, as I say, it's a fabulous piece. It really is, mm. you know, and, um, and proven really, really popular with the fans. But yeah, I was going to say, when you go to these conventions, you'll see a grandfather or a grandmother holding, like, probably their grandchild or something. And we went to one once because I know Dave Prouse really well. Unfortunately, as a mate, you know, so I can't sort of talk about it because he is a mate. He's a lovely guy. But he's a wonderful guy. Travelled the world for years. Massive demand in these conventions all over the world. As did a lot of the old characters. Mm. You know, dear Kenny Baker, sadly no longer with us, but Peter Mayhew, Jeremy Bullock. They travelled the world to all these conventions because the great thing about a lot of these roles is everybody wants the first one. Right. It's the sort of thing, in my humble opinion, if you were to recreate Darth Vader and you put one of the leading American actors in it, although they're massive, there's no interest in the Star Wars world. They want the first person, yes. which is Dave Prowse in that role. Mm. You know, So you could recreate them. So the first of that role is always the most interesting and the most in demand for right. the fan. And Dave Prowse, anyway, you go to these conventions, and we were there once, and there's a granddad like, with his... So, and my daughter's been to his house. She was probably, I don't know about... 
10 or 11. And she's funnily enough quite cheeky. You wouldn't expect it really? with an old That's man and soul like me. me, you know. But yeah, she's after the wife. You know, we <laughs> queue it up. And, and there's this little boy. He's like, I can't believe I'm going to meet Darth Vader. You know, and he's going, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you're going to meet him. And Dave always had a supply of sweeties, you know, but not like that, you know, to give out <laughs> to the fans, you know, and everything. And he's there. And this, as he gets nearer, you know, he's going, I can't believe I'm going to meet Darth Vader. And my, my daughter taps him on the back. She I'll bring him to his house. Oh, really? And he, really? And he, and, and, she, and he went, yeah. And, she, and, she, and he, the little boy said, has he got, like, Darth Vader everywhere? And she went, no, he's got a sofa on the right, <laughs> telly on the left. I love and kids. Completely literal, killed all they? his illusions. He has actually got some lovely stuff. But Dave's so laid back, but he's great with the fans, like mm. they all are. But it's wonderful, you know, <laughs> and, and all ages. All ages, appeal to all ages here. So the Star Wars framed and mounted celebration stamp sheet look with GB official Star Wars stamps, £45.95. and pence. If you've seen and you've chosen and you want to enjoy this, um, all you've got to do is click the buy button on your screen. Make sure you check your basket out because until you've done that, it isn't yours. Once you've checked out, it's yours. And of course, you get your email confirmation and then you can track your delivery. Let's move on then. More Star Wars for you. Um, the latest in the sequence. The Revenge of the Sith, framed and mounted, 10 different characters, official Star Wars stamps. So more stamps for you and some of the, well, is this the recent one? Am I right in saying that or is it one before um, the, the this current is the one? one before. The one before, yeah. yeah. I What's interesting the... about this as well, actually. Went so much better in rehearsal, didn't <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could probably tell we didn't have one, yeah. then, never mind. It's all my <laughs> fault, honest. Um, as you look at these particular stamps, you'll see, you'll, you might look at them in the middle, you've got the, the, the broad images down the side and you look at those and you think why is that map there well that map that is actually an Aus a map of Australia and the image at the side of it is is what they call a philatelic label what so basically again? it's a philatelic label what they does call that mean? it well, what it means is each one of those stamps if you were yeah. to take the top image of the or the country and the image alongside it as you can see there like Darth if you were to take all of that out you could put that on your letter and post your letter Oh, really? Ob yeah, obviously these have been designed as collectibles, so you wouldn't dare touch them, you know. But the interesting thing is each one of those is an individual postage stamp with the image of the character, a different character alongside mm -hmm. it. This was actually a very... You've got to see the Chewbacca down there. You've got R2-D2 in the bottom yeah. corner. What's that? It's uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi there, isn't it? I can got see Natalie Trooper. Trooper. Yeah, that's right. And it, it's a great item. But the interesting thing about this, this was only produced on, an in, on a limited run in Australia, and then it was withdrawn. So it's oh, really? extremely collectible. It's an Australian restricted issue stamp sheet. So how did you get this then? Well, it was Benham who got them. Obviously, they're all over the world. Yes. You know, they work all over the world in the stamp world. But they got it through their philatelic tier rather than through the Star Wars tier. But technically, um, I believe you can still see them occasionally. Dealers sell them or you might see them on internet sites. You even see fakes of them. But the interesting thing about this is technically within three or four days it was sold out and that's really? it and that's it so you can't buy that uh, from the original sources but technically it's one of what's known as an Australian restricted issue Star Wars item. Wow. very so, very I mean, collectible if you see this and you like it grab it that's mm. that's my advice 49 pounds and 95 pence 100132 is the item code all you've got to do is click on the buy button on your screen you'll be then taken through a process if you're looking at the PMP on screen thinking well I'm not from the UK how does it sort of refer to me basically once you click on the buy button it gives you all the options to select the appropriate one do check out your baskets until you've done that it isn't actually yours so once you've checked out it will be delivered to you you'll get your email confirmation and you can track that delivery should we move on to some Darth Vader who doesn't do the impression putting something uh, over their mouth and oh, then just doing, do you do well, that with a well uh, yeah like, oh, something like that's that chewy, though. That's, that's, that's more that's like chewy back yeah yeah you true. do a bit of star wars gas uh, Darth Vader. Well, as I say, it's um, I, I probably don't do Darth Vader because I know Dave well, but um, I always take the again, no, but I take the me? Mickey out of him because not being rude because mm. when we take the Mickey out of each other, he takes the Mickey out of my Cockney accent and I take the Mickey out of his you know Bristolian accent. I know? love that. But he um, not his accent. We just have a laugh. But he, the, the famous thing about Dave, and you probably heard this before, and I do apologise if you have. The thing about Dave 
he was allegedly quite hurt that they dubbed his voice afterwards. Oh, really? Because you know? obviously James Earl Jones, that deep, rich yes. vein. But I used to say to Dave, you know, tongue-in-cheek, quick, can you imagine it? You know, your voice, you know, like, are you going to be go with your lightsaber? <laughs> it doesn't have quite that... <laughs> Rich Doesn't tongue, that, does yeah, it? You know, impact, it's like really. me reading the BBC News or some <laughs> such place. You know, I don't really think you never know. It they might never happen. Know. Right, it's all happening in Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So what makes this so special? The fact that he was the original Darth Vader. Yeah, he was the original Darth Vader, and um, I know we've got one or two on the crew here, a big Star Wars fans. I'm sure they'd agree. As I said, they all interested in the first person in that character. It's the same with a lot of sci-fi and cult sort of um, niche markets, you know, the first person in that role is the one they all want. Mm. And um, that's what makes it so different, you know. And, and even if you put a very famous actor in there, there probably wouldn't be quite as much interest because he was the first one to do right. it. Batman's another prime example. Adam West was, the, a lot of people grew up with Adam West on the TV series. You've had famous actors like Michael Keaton, you know, had George Clooney yeah. play Batman. But in the, as a Batman role, there's not so much interest in them as there is Adam West because he was the first one. So people want the original and this mm. is the original Darth Vader. And I like it the is. presentation of this, the fact that it's Darth, there's no fuss. It's Darth Vader in the frame yeah. and, you know, put it pride of place, above the mantelpiece, wherever you may see it. And so much nicer than just having a poster on your wall if you've got a grandson, a son, a dad, a grandson. It is. It's a great it. item. Absolutely superb. And as I said, that is personally signed by Dave at his home. You know, he lives near, quite near me in Croydon. And he's a lovely guy, his wife as well, you know, wonderful people. And um, he's so popular. And it's only recently, I mean, what is he, dare I say, he's 80. Is now, Dave, really? but he's only recently started to wind down a bit. He would be in Japan one week, America the next week. He was all over the world, just doing the conventions. So much, yeah, just doing the conventions, and it's amazing, you know. Because I know, you know, what to talk about here, but they didn't earn big money for doing these roles at the time. The only one who allegedly did particularly well was Sir Alec Guinness because he right. actually took a cut of the movie, you know. Mm, and so imagine that like, every time everyone bought a Star Wars hat or a toy, he was getting a bit. So that was quite. He smart. did well, didn't he? But you know what? I do love about this. I do love a signature, an autograph where it looks like the actual name. Yeah, that's right. A lot of the older actors are like that. The um, the current ones, you don't see them so much. They're more, um, you know, they're more often a squiggle. They may yes. be more rushed. But someone like Dave, you know who it is. You can see who it is. I mean, he was a, you know, British sort of. Um, what was he? Uh, he was a weightlifting, not weightlifting. He was bodybuilding champion. But he always, he used to know and. and you know, know well. He's a big friend of like Lou Ferrino, who was the Incredible Hulk. Big friend of uh, you know, out, uh, uh, what's his name? The one in uh, the big movie guy, Ronan Which the one? Barbarian. What's oh, out Conan. Conan the Barbarian. Conan, do you mean yeah, yeah. Arnold. Arnold, of Arnold. course. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Got out my head. Yeah, I mean, he, I all those Roman guys. I was yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not very good at bodybuilding. <laughs> I don't think. No, but yeah, he, what's he on about? Sorry, <laughs> but he, um, he's a great guy, you know. He really is. And they all mix and all big guys. Dave's yeah. a huge guy, you know. Six, oh, I like five, the sound of boy. this. Anyway, shall I give you the details yeah. that you need if you want to buy this? Um, Dave Prost as Darth Vader in Star Wars half-length pose photo, personally signed. 54 pounds and 95 pence, the original Darth Vader. If you would like this to add to your collection, all you've got to do is click on the buy button. Click on that, it will take you very easily, very simply through the process. Um, once you've bought it, you've checked out your basket, then of course it will give you email confirmation and then you can track your delivery. Let's move on now then, Chewbacca. You did a really good impression of Chewie oh, yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to do that again while I tell oh, you? No, <gasps> No, that just sounds like something like that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca in Star Wars framed photo, personally signed. Now this isn't in the studio. Is this quite a big display? This one then. It's now what it is. It, it comes to you in a special folder, but it's been such big demand. They literally had run out, so we had to get one back from America. Right. So it's actually caught up in I think in the customs at the moment. But we will get them. But uh, right at this moment, when we're shooting this program, you know, or, or organising this, program, we haven't actually got it in the studio. But that's what you get it's mm. personally signed peter mayhew in actual fact lives i believe in texas still so oh, really he's very difficult to get he comes over every occasionally for conventions mm. and things but uh, again always a massive draw at conventions yes and again he's a massive massive guy he must get very hot in texas with all that hair as yeah, well it's huge i mean originally <laughs> 
<laughs> Originally, Dave Prowse said he was called by um, George Lucas. I hope we don't get in trouble for this story. And they said to Dave, you know, we've got a role for you in this new movie. And he said, what is it? And he said, well, the, the two characters, uh, Dave, Darth Vader and Chewbacca. And Dave Prowse said, I'm going to put him on the spot. He said, I was given this, uh, I, I wasn't sure which way I went to the guy. I said, can I be Darth Vader? And he said, why? He said, because I don't want to go around in that hot outfit all day long. <laughs> really? He's a bit hot in there, you know. It but, must um, have been. I oh, know, they're, they're amazing. And Peter Mayhew, years ago, used to be a hospital porter in Mayday Hospital. I was Croydon. a hospital porter oh, back in the day, yes. Oh, I've never got anyone like you oh, well. pouring me around. <laughs> <laughs> they always look like me, the guys who come to collect me. Uh, so, I love that yeah. job, I love doing that. Oh, there you go, I've got something, in, something yeah. in common. How with would you push a lump like me? Would you get a crane or something? I'm stronger than I look. Really must be. I'm stronger wow. than I look. But with something like this, I mean, he is iconic to the brand, isn't he? He's I mean, he massive. Is, you know. He's one of the, in my opinion one of the top two or three characters that everybody wants in a collection is not that easy to get but it is a stunning item I should say that image obviously has been used through um, it's been actually uh, emailed to us but the original is much sharper than that it's a right. really clear image we've done that in a rush I apologize for that but the one you get believe me will be a perfect image with a genuine signature okay, that's good that's when know. he's had a morning after that one I think imagine like him he doesn't I mean he doesn't look like the furry face but he's a big guy and imagine going in somewhere like that a night out on the Raz in Croydon and someone like that wheeling you How around tall is you know? he? I think he's about six, 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 seven. He's massive. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. So if you'd like to get your hands on this, Peter Mayhew, as Chewbacca in Star Wars frame photo, personally signed, £69.99 pence for you here at Totally Shopping TV. Um, all you've got to do is click on the buy button. Once you've done that, we'll take you easily through the process. Follow the process, check out your basket, only then will it be yours. Then, of course, we'll send you email confirmation and you can track your delivery. So moving on, I mean, R2-D2. Yeah. A again, another iconic character of Star Wars. A massive character. And dear Kenny Baker, only recently, you know, passed away. He was a lovely guy. A really, really nice guy. You know, I remember talking to him once. We were interviewing him for a piece, you know, on a TV thing. And we spat and spoke to him. And I said, what do you think, you know, when he first heard about Star Wars? And he said, I thought it was going to be a load of, you know, not something very interesting, we'll put it like that. But he, he, it's, he said, it's amazing, I couldn't believe my whole life, the rest of my life has been Star Wars, really. Yeah. He said, I've been lucky enough to be involved and the people I've met. But the other interesting th thing about this, well, when you meet the fans, they know everything about the character. They sometimes know more about the character than the person who played the role. So they know the background, yeah, where, no, where they the go, character Do you know when you did from? that? And you did that scene that was <laughs> cut, and I mean, no, I don't actually. Oh, really? <laughs> They're probably They're diehard. So Fans, oh, they're they? massive. And R2-D2, <laughs> I mean, sadly, everybody knows, everybody knows <laughs> Kenny Baker. But um, he, he was a lovely man, great guy, good fun. I've fortunately met him a few times. He was a lovely, lovely guy. And he couldn't wish to meet a nicer bloke. And he was always lovely with the fans, but always so big Gaz, views, you know. Obviously, because, you know, he's now sadly no longer with us, people want this autograph even more, I would imagine, because, of course, he can't do any more. So a limited run of these. And then when they're gone, they're presumably well, gone. Sadly, what happens inevitably, it, it's a sad <laughs> reflect, you know, it's sad. It's just, it's just a case of demand. The, the demand exceeds the availability and then inevitably the price goes up and up. And obviously with Kenny recently no longer with us, the price of his signature has risen considerably and probably will continue to because we think how big Star Wars is, it's so international yeah. mm -mm. that they're, you know, all over the world, people will be wanting and looking out for genuine items of Kenny Baker's signature and that's exactly what you're going to get there, you know. You, you, if you go on the internet blind, you never know what you're buying, you don't know what you're getting, you know. A lot of them are sadly uh, fake. Here you've got something you know is 100% genuine. With this, we can tell you the day it was signed, where it was signed, and everything. So you'll get all the, you'll get the letter of authenticity. You get authenticity. Yeah, you get a certificate of authenticity. Right, okay. You get a lifetime guarantee. Right. And with some of these items, like this one, it'll even tell you the date and the place that it was signed. And more importantly, you've got the backing of AFTA and the UACC, which gives you the top of the tree guarantee that that is the real McCoy.
I, li I like that you get that sort of um, authenticity in our collectibles. And I'll tell mm. you what, I'll give you the price and everything in case you want to buy this. Um, Kenny Baker as R2-D2 in Star Wars photo, personally signed. £89.95 99, is your price. If you would like this, all you've got to do is click on the buy button. It really is that easy, isn't it, guys? You just click it on the really buy button. It really is. And it's, as you quite rightly say, you don't want to miss out because imagine how many people are going to be looking mm. for a Especially genuine... Especially something like this. That they're going to be looking everywhere for a genuine item like that. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want it, we don't have huge stocks. Probably can't replace them either. So once it's gone, you could miss out. Mm, perfect gift. Now, should we do a little bit of um, Luke Skywalker next, shall we? Yeah, without doubt. I used to fancy him a little bit Did when you? I was growing up, watching the Star Wars films. Well, I suppose he was quite a hunk, wasn't he, really? Well, he was. I think he was just, you know, he had a nice face, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, he did. And again... One of the key characters, always looking for him. To be honest, he's been a little bit more around recently, but he was really, really hard signature to get. Is that because get. it's come back, Gaz, that he's yeah, come back into the is. limelight? Yeah, he, he led a, a fairly out-of-the-media limelight sort of life you know of his own choice i believe and so consequently to get his signature is very very hard mm. uh, consequently obviously the price of this is more expensive because it's much much rarer and even though ken is sadly no longer with us at the moment the the, the look that you know oh, wow. finding something of mark yeah. hamill is very 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 difficult and when it's signed as luke skywalker a huge demand for that that is a stunning piece i like the publicity the publicity poster, though, it's yeah, it looks a, great. a smaller size, so it's really easy to put on your wall. It doesn't yeah. take up too much space, but it's a really gorgeous display, this. And I think Mark Hamill, he is iconic, isn't he? Like he you say. Is, and for sure. If you're building up that Star Wars collection, yeah. you must have, like, a, a checklist of people that you want to get. Oh, yeah, he'll be top of the list. Well, top of the He's going to be in the top mm. two or three with everybody. He's yes. huge. And he's very, very hard to get. So that is a, very, a really super piece. Do you get really say, excited when you get people that you haven't been able to get before? Do you just get like, oh, I, I I've got Mark Yeah, Hammer. you do. I mean, I, you know, I'm lucky. I don't meet too many high-end celebs, but one or two of them I've met, you know, and, and talking to them and seeing them, it, it's interesting. But, yeah, sometimes, like, Madonna was one. You know, Did I was you meet fortunate Madonna? enough Madonna. Oh, was she and she, Well, everybody told was me she, she was going to be difficult. Was she wearing the first meeting? Uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't. Maybe we discussed you that at breakfast, okay. but I didn't get a chance to check. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she said, um, you know, you're supposed to meet her, you know, you know um, you're supposed to have 12 minutes with her. 12 minutes? Yeah. Why, and we ended up, I mean, about Because that's what she's assigned for it, you know. Really? And the first thing she said, what are you going to ask me? And I said, I'm not going to ask you any personal questions. She said, why? I said, well, if I ask you them, you'll clam up. You know, and she laughed, you know. Yeah. Anyway, imagine she staying with her in the end about an hour. So really? she was lovely. Really, really nice. Really? Now, that's not so, I mean, we go slightly mm. off um, subject here. Sorry, but yeah. You <laughs> but you don't often, with Madonna, you don't really know what she's going to be like. Well, a very, you know, very like famous uh, um, interviewer on, on national TV who interviews stars all the time said, if you're going to talk to Madonna, she'll eat you alive. You really? know, she's difficult to deal with. But yeah. I found her to be an absolute darling. She was lovely. Was it John Ross that said that? I never said a word, did I? <laughs> OK, so let's give you the details then. Uh, 100138, we're spilling all the secrets here, Gaz. Yeah. Uh, Mark Hamill, what was that? Sorry, you got Madonna on, on the phone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker in now. Star Wars yeah. photo, personally signed. £169.95 and for an in 95p for an incredibly difficult autograph to get. So if you like this, I would grab it. I can't imagine there's thousands of these i mean I... no normally very very difficult to get even in america it's hard to get right and that is actually a very competitively priced uh, mm. you know, price there for Mark Hamill's autograph as Luke Skywalker. OK, so click on the buy button if you would like this. It will take you through a very simple process. Check your basket out and then, of course, you'll get the email confirmation and you can track your delivery, find out when it's going to get to you. Let's move on then. More Star Wars, Star Wars memorabilia, can't speak now, uh, memorabilia. It's Ray Park as Darth Maul in Star Wars, a photo personally signed. Now, this is the chap that can do all the kind of, not taekwondo, but all the kind of special Martial yeah, arts. he's a martial arts expert. He's like a he, black Ray belt, Park. isn't he? Like yeah. a Dan or something. Again, he, you know, he, I've met him at conventions in the UK. He's a very nice guy, really, really nice bloke. 
Uh, they all are, but it's true. All the yeah. ones I've met have been lovely. Maybe and it's you. Maybe it's your effect on people. Yeah, yeah. You haven't really got them by the throat. I'm a nice <laughs> guy, aren't I? You know? Yeah, you're lovely. But no, he, again, very very charming, very nice guy. And again, if, if you're building a collection, you want a good mix of all the characters, you know? And obviously Darth Maul is another you know, big character. Ray Park, lovely guy again, really friendly, chatty with the fans, you know. And it's one of those you've just got to have in your collection, really. Does he do a lot of conventions? Um, so he varies. He travels the world a lot. You know, he's in America and all over the place, you know. But he comes, you probably catch him in the UK maybe once, maybe twice a year, depends. Not a lot. But he, he does do them to try and meet the fan. Yeah. A lot of them do go out of their way. On these cult-type series, you know, Star Wars, Star Trek, Harry Potter, mm. all these sort of Bond, they do make a big effort to go out there. And the more recent ones, Games of Thrones, Walking the Dead, yes. the characters are very aware of how popular they are. So they do make stringent efforts to go out there and meet the fans and, you know, have fun and get to see them, have pictures and stuff. Keeps everyone happy. Yeah, which is nice but, to know, really, isn't it? Mm. I mean, I like this shot because it's kind of an, an action shot. I mean, he's a bit of a creepy one, this one, isn't he? <laughs> he is. But I think he's he's one of the baddies that you've got to have in your collection. Well, he looks like you've maybe you've nicked his parking space or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble, you know, something, didn't you? <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe Could I haven't be. got experience of that. Yeah. But I quite like the arid desert behind him and the scene where he is and everything to be honest that's right it, you associate that with the movie it's you a do. very iconic scene and that's what you want as well you wouldn't want him stood in you know Times square or trafalgar square no. smiling it just doesn't relate to the character does yeah, it so it does it's a great image though and i must just say actually if you've just if you're just watching because of course you're seeing us live stream well not live but we're streaming on the website um if you want to catch up with anything you're thinking oh well i'd quite like to watch something specific there is a catch-up facility on the website so if you see a particular collectible and you'll see lots on there as we grow um, just click on them and you can watch just that part mm. can't you which is quite handy it is that's right you can go there and there's some great and do sort of go around the website a bit as well because you may well find there's other items that aren't actually in this show yes. of, of, of Star Wars or whatever it is you're looking for so do spend a bit of time on the website you'll see some great items you really will so I'll give you the details on this one then if you want to buy it's Ray Park as Darth Maul in Star Wars for Photo personally signed, £74.99 pence here at totallyshopping.tv. All you've got to do is click the buy button. It really is as simple as that. Follow the process in which to buy, check out your basket, you'll receive email confirmation, and then you can track your delivery very, very easily. Moving on then, we've got, oh, now this is quite a large display. Well, actually, no, it's not such a big display, but it's a very detailed display. Star Wars Classic Vehicles of the Saga, framed and mounted stamps, you can see there. And I can see Yo. I can see Darth Vader and yeah. the stamp collection in the middle. Well, it's like the one we saw earlier. Again, this is an Australian one, right. uh, the map there. It, it, it's an Australian restricted issue one, and you've actually got each one of those is a genuine stamp. And you get that you, if you were putting that on your letter, you wouldn't do it because obviously it's produced. It's a very pricey a way to send a letter, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be you can take the stamp out. You can see it's 45 cents, oh, yeah, the actual I can see stamp. That. You can take the stamp with the image alongside that, put on that on your letter, and you could actually post post it so it's official postage and it's and it's obviously licensed and endorsed as an official star wars product well that adds to its value to star wars fans because it is an officially released star wars item and again worldwide people will go looking for these items mm. just to add to your collection but the great thing about that in my opinion you can hang that on the wall it's beautifully framed hang it on the wall and any star wars fans gonna love and cherish it and it's but, something that will would it is it right to say because I know sometimes we're quite complacent in saying this but is it right to say that it will grow in value or not we can't say that obviously there's no guarantee yeah. I mean I I don't like to speculate because it's like everything you know you gold can know. go up in value it drops down mm -hmm. in value it goes up its shares go up and down collectibles are a lot more consistent if you look across the last 20 years you know a lot of a lot of items have gone up considerably in mm. value but there's no guarantee. We can't guarantee that would happen. And, and I don't like, don't buy to speculate. I have because you know, of your buy personal because you love worth, it, I suppose. You know. The personal value to you yeah, at the end of the day. If right. you know what it's going to mean to somebody else. Because imagine if you give this to your son, your grandson, your dad, mm. and they really love Star Wars. It's something really, really different, isn't That's it? That's right. The key thing about any of these items really is, certainly on the last decade or so, if you were to buy, I mean, you go back and it's totally off the vein, but if you were to buy, I don't know, say a set of Beatles autographs that you knew were genuine maybe 
10 years ago, yeah. they might cost you £2,000 maybe. Now they cost you £20,000. You know, so things do go. That's not just them. You know, Elvis might have been two or £300. Mm. Now it's more likely to be four or five. Yes, there has been a lot of items that have significantly gone up in value, but you can't guarantee that. So do not buy them for that. But having that, if you enjoy Star Wars and you're looking for something a bit different that could accrue a secondary market value, that's got to be in your collection. And I think also it is the kind of, what would we call it, the brand that yeah. keeps on gathering lots of people of different ages, the audience grows, kids that you know aren't even around yet will like it because another one will come out and now Disney's taken it over. Yeah. It has just become, it sort of, it kind of peaks and troughs. I mean, it's always there, yeah. but you know, the film came out and it was right up there sure. and, and then you know there'll, there'll be another one that will come out and it will go up again. It, it sort of never ends. Yeah, that's right. I believe there's another one due out in about May, I think. Is there? Oh, is it that June? soon? I think there is. I think it's due out um, in about the spring of, oh, wow. of next year. They're I think banging them out, right. aren't they? So yeah, yeah, that's of um, yeah, that's right. They are for sure. Yeah. It's um, banging out like we are of the collectibles today, yeah, Gav. For what sure. can I say? Good Let choice. me give you the details on this one. One zero zero one four zero Star Wars classic vehicles of the saga, framed and mounted stamps. The price fifty nine pounds and ninety five pence. All you've got to do if you would like this is click the buy button. If you're looking at the PMP, thinking oh, I'm not from the UK, not relevant to me when you click the buy button you can choose the relevant option for your delivery and then it's as simple as that and then of course you'll get the email confirmation once you've checked out your basket and then you can track your delivery which is really really handy and like I said if you're thinking well actually um you know, I'll be quite upfront. Maybe you're watching this thing. I'm not really into Star Wars, actually. What else have you got? Have a little surf around this website because we, we offer lots of different collectibles mm. if you're into sports, footballs, Formula One as well. Yeah, that's right. It, it, it's true. We have a whole mix. And keep watching and let us know what you want to see. But obviously, we, the intention is to bring you a whole mix of different collectible items. Yes. From foot, you know, soccer to boxing to Formula One. We've done Star Wars. We've already mm. Star Trek, James Bond, Harry Potter. Potter, all of them. The aim is to offer you all the different ones. Yeah, we want you we're to even see, working choose, on, and enjoy. Don't that's we? right. We're even working on some of the more recent series. So, you know, we've got a few interviews I've got with some of the people from the cast of some Ooh. of them shows. So maybe we'll try and drop bits in. You can see them, you know. So What, Geordie Shaw? That's him. I can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just had director, his favourite, you know, Dan, Hot yes. Daniel. From he likes that bit the, of culture, he loves, doesn't uh, he? That's yeah. nice of culture. Georgie Shaw, right. yeah. <laughs> I did do the, I did go over the interview. It lasted 10 seconds of it, you know. <laughs> did it? Hello, there's the door. Um, now then, um, this next autograph um, I've heard from a diehard fan and actually from Gaz is incredibly difficult to get. Mm. Um, Harrison Ford has signed this. Um, Harrison Ford as Han Solo in Star Wars. The photo has been personally signed. Now this is like gold dust to a Star Wars fan. It is. Well, Harrison Ford was always, maybe unfairly, but again, led a very private life. He's not in the limelight at all. And up until the movie again, he was very, very rarely seen at anything. And he's not somebody I, I think we all have different characters mm. who's particularly comfortable with signing autographs. You know, I think he, he just thinks it's not, you know, he'll do it, but mm. he wants to be nice to the fans. But he's not happily wanting to talk to everyone. He just keeps out the limelight. Mm. So he's a very, very difficult man to nail down to get an autograph. This obviously with the influx of the last movie brought him out of the, you know, the background somewhat. And yeah, he's, I mean, 18 months ago, that would be double the price. Really? Definitely. So why it's, 18 months ago? Well, the only then? reason it's gone down is because, fortunately, he's been around. There's been a little bit oh, more material he was back in the, in the film, so everyone's... But I think that's a great buy at that price because yeah. I know <laughs> two two years ago, I would have, if I was buying one, if I could get one that I knew was genuine, I would have expected to pay at least another, probably another £200 more than that really? for it. Really? He's a huge thing and he is massive. Yeah. So that, in my opinion, is probably one of the most sought after and the rarest, if not the rarest, of the Star Wars autographs. I mean, Star Wars made him, didn't it? Because he was a carpenter before, wasn't he? Yeah. He was spotted by George Lucas. I mean, imagine literally you're just sat there just to get doing your job, whatever you're doing. Yeah, like, I know. Hello, it's... I like the look of you. Yeah. you come in and, do... and actually, um, a couple of the new stars of um, the latest Star Wars were plucked from obscurity 
beauty and yeah, they, you are literally thrust into the yeah. limelight aren't you i keep some available for yeah. all sorts but it, time yeah. will come <laughs> yeah, time, next yeah, time yeah. you're putting up those shells you never know you'll turn yeah, around know, yeah yeah, <laughs> the moment will be there. yeah so who I do know. you think this would be nice for then obviously somebody that loves star wars well anyone anyone who loves star wars or anyone who's accruing a, a great collection of over the years this is just a fab you've got to have that in your collection and the fact it's an image from the movie you know or it, it, it's a promotional image from the latest movie will make that even more collectible if you buy that put it in a frame you know mount it i mount it i put it in a frame in your pride of place and anyone who's a star wars fan that would be like mm. the ultimate gift i should think i think and, so you know it's a fabulous thing with all of these items sometimes the price points may be a little bit high for you but the best thing is, you know put your money together buy them something they really really want special yeah, I agree. gift anniversary can't go wrong with something i mean like. i think with something I, I did sort of feel for the actors because it's kind of a little bit of a poison chalice isn't it being handed this role yes um, if you were daisy or john obviously first name terms here at totally shopping yeah, TV, yeah. and they've been given this role and it, you know it's it, people are ready to criticize you but oh, then of course, course um what's his surname john bottega is it boyega 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 yeah. um he got the best newcomer i think didn't yeah. he so he was rewarded for it and quite rightly so but it must be quite frightening to be in that brand and it, just that's right it's amazing i mean it, for most of the original star wars that is a life-changing role as you quite rightly said, most of them were well. In fact, the original Star Wars, and really nobody was a known actor no. apart from the man himself, you know, Sir Alec Guinness. And um, but the, the, he was the the massive name. Mm. And if if the, if you believe the press and the media, he earned more money out of that one movie than he did all his others added together. Mad, you know, isn't it? Amazing. I'm much, right. much more as well. Much, but much yeah, more. it's amazing, but it, <laughs> clever man. There you man. go, there you go. Shall we give you the details on this one then? Harrison Ford as Han Solo in Star Wars photo, personally signed. 100141 is the item code that you are going to need. Price is £239.95. So it might be you've been looking for this, you've found it. Grab it if you'd like to buy it. All you've got to do is click on the buy button, check out your basket, and then of course you will get the email confirmation then you can track your delivery. Let's move on now to sort of more of a well, recent, I say, but somebody that sort of came a little bit more, I can't get my words out, but he's more of a, a modern character, isn't well, he? he? Is, well, he is, yeah, plays... but again, a massive actor, yes. Ewan McGregor. And again, no disrespect to the, you know, the Jeremy is a fabulous actor, but like that signature, what you said with mm. Dave Prowse, you wouldn't know that was his signature unless you knew. He's looking you know. quite nonchalant about it, though, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He is. He's a great actor. Obviously, <laughs> he is. so many roles so once again you've got people who want him who is purely for the fact he's such a you know, massive massive iconic respected actor mm. and then those who want him purely because of course he's in a massive star wars role but again great great signature and with this obviously you can see with a price point it's one of those it's much much more difficult to find because he We've, played that he paid the um the young obi-wan didn't he that's right yeah he did but it's a fabulous piece and again a very rare item to get you don't find many genuine sign emphasize the word genuine genuine signed items of ewan mcgregor can i just i'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit here because mm. when you see an autograph like that how can you tell that that is authentic because i reckon if i put a little pen on a bit of paper but how do you it's, know because you get the letter you get all of the well base yeah, that's right because basically you know when it was signed when it was signed, the day right. you know the time always not always but if it's got Fortunately, if it's got the back end, you say, to be honest, that could be anything, couldn't it? It could be Zorro, you know, <laughs> but it could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> but we know because I don't mean to be disrespectful to the, you know, to yeah. Ewan McGregor, but it, the, the, a lot, like most, a lot of modern stuff, it's because there's such a rush and there's so many thousands of people yeah. wanting to it, 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 they have to, you know, uh, but it's basically because you know, if you do your research, the people that know, they know the style of their signature, they know what it is. So basically, and it, it's the key thing, have the background of mm. Aftel and UACC, the, the information you'll get here on, on this 
particular channel and totally shopping TV, you know if we say it's right, it is right. It's all genuine there. Ewan McGregor as young Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars photo personally signed £154.95. All you've got to do is click on the buy button. Shall we move on then? Who have we got next? Liam Neeson, again, another actor in his own right without obviously the brand of Star Wars behind him. Um, now, how do we pronounce the, the character he's playing here? Um, Shall we have a go? Kui Gon Yin, isn't it? Something like that. Jin? Kui Gon Jin. No, we're all getting the, the bad thumbs Jin. down. Oh, well, it's well, near enough. Yeah, if you are enough. a Star Wars fan, you We apologise, yeah. We like to give you something to show. <laughs> you show it the front the screen when you're looking at us. We do apologise. But he signed but, this personally. We can authenticate this. And I quite like the commanding stance of Liam Neeson in that picture. And the, well, he's a great actor. I think he he's is. a fabulous actor. And a great character, he seems, when you see him on the, the chat shows. Again, a very, very... Because he's such a famous actor... And the fact it's in this key role again in a new Star Wars movie, mm. you've got all these collectors wanting him. There's thousands of film collectors who want to get their hands on something signed by Liam Neeson, same as there was with Ewan McGregor, Harrison Ford. Yeah. But to get them on the Star Wars, you've got this second wave of massive amount of Star Wars fans. Can't wait to get their hands on something of this. So it's very rare, very difficult to get in a genuine format. We emphasise the word genuine. Mm -hmm. So again, Star Wars fans worldwide would be looking out all the time to get their hands on something like that. I think so and also if you're, you're collecting um, you know quite a few autographs you would have a tick list like we were talking about mm. earlier yeah, and it'd do. be nice to get the sort of the older characters and the newer characters yeah. from the franchise on a wall sort of frame mm. them get them all together and particularly when you see them because like I say I don't know personally I mean it's not like you're gonna wander off down the high street see no. this in a shop pop in and buy it you know they're not easy <laughs> things to get. You just reminded me of I must, I'm sorry I bore you to death. You just remind me of a great story. I went oh, in a on, famous high street supermarket. They're going, oh dear, in my ear. High street <laughs> supermarket. And in the, in the, 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 you know, I didn't know, in the sort of till next to me, you know, putting down their shopping, going to shopping. And, and there they are, was Dave Prowse. You know, really? Yeah, because he's got to eat and drink, same as everybody else, yeah. you know. And I turned around and I said to the girl on the tilt, I bet he didn't know you'd be serving someone famous today. And she went, who? Because <laughs> he's not he, wearing the outfit, No, he's not he? wearing the outfit. He don't wear that down the high street when he goes to shopping. No, it's true. But, you know, he ain't got a clue. But it was really funny because there he is, the man himself. Darth Vader. Buying his shopping, yeah. What like, was he buying? Know. All sorts, I think. You know, Was I think they're arguing over what biscuits they want. Oh, really? But, you know, Isn't that funny? Well, Darth Dave, Dave, probably there's a headline sweeties, there, isn't you know. there? There's a headline. Yeah, he does um, like his sweeties. Now, we've yeah. got so much to get through, Gaz. I'll give Sorry. you the details on this one. Don't apologise. Liam Neeson, as you know who, in Star Wars photo, personally signed £149.95. If you'd like this, all you've got to do is click on the buy button, follow the simple process, and then, of course, check out your basket, and we will send you email confirmation. You can track your delivery. Let's move on. Then. Now, this is one of the latest additions to the Star Wars franchise. Daisy Ridley as Rey in Star Wars photo, personally signed, £169.95. Now, she's very in demand. Looking at that price. Well, it's, it's in, I actually, to be honest, no disrespect to Daisy Ridley, but I said, is, is that... Is that really the price for Daisy Ridley? Because she's say, new. She's just got in but don't, there. Do, with all due respect, if they'd have gone back six months before the movie, mm. you would have probably got that for a third of that price, you know. But she's become mm. such a huge superstar and massive demand to get their yeah. hands in that the price of her signature has probably gone up but she's ten times. But she's popular you know? culture um, way. She, mm. is very, she appeals very much to girls yeah. that, that kind of want to follow their dream to become an actress, you know, mm. because she wants wasn't a well-known actress. She hadn't really done anything before this. No, she'd been in a few so uh, sort of soap things, I think, hadn't she, yeah. on TV. But, yeah, I mean, she's suddenly become... She's gone from being a sort of a, you know, a virtually unknown actress mm. to being now a superstar. Yeah. She's a superstar status. I admit in a cult in a cult world, but she is a superstar actress, mm. you know. So there's millions of people worldwide will know exactly who Daisy Ridley is, but probably if you turn the clock back a year, no disrespect to her, they would probably wouldn't have had a clue who but she But you know was. what, it's very similar. We were talking about the Game of Thrones franchise as well. It's mm. similar to that, isn't it? If you wanted oh, Khaleesi, yeah. it's going to cost you a lot of money because yeah. she is the face. So it's similar to that. So shall I give you the details on this one then? Um, Daisy Ridley as Rey in Star Wars, the first 
photo is personally signed by her, £169.95. All you've got to do if you want it is quote the item code, which is 100144. Once you click on the buy button, follow the process. Of course, once you've checked your baskets out, make sure you do that, otherwise it's not yours until you do that. We'll send you email confirmation, then you can track your delivery. So another new star to the franchise of Star Wars coming up next. Oh, here we go. It's John Boyega as Finn in Star Wars photo, personally signed again. Now, he's won Best Newcomer. I think he might have got a BAFTA, if I might be right yeah. or wrong in that, but I think it was a BAFTA. So to go from virtual obscurity to become the best newcomer and yeah. now be, being seen in sort of more films coming out of the cinema, I mean, sure. this is an incredible meteoric rise, isn't it? It is. It's like if you get in one of these movies, you know, something like it's almost been it's a life changer. Definitely. And um, it, it is, you know, I mean, the people who originally went in, you know, Dave Prowse, Jeremy Bullock had done a fair bit of acting, Kenny Baker, you know, Peter Mayhew, their lives changed almost overnight. You know, Anthony Dan, well, he, he was doing some acting, but all those key characters, they just, you know, they're into mm. mega stardom. Well, they you know, can't through walk down the, the street, role. can they? If he walked down the street now, he would absolutely be mobbed. Oh, of course, yeah. And I mean, obviously, in the earlier days, some of them didn't know the faces of the characters because they were, you know, you know, mm, they browse his. Yeah, and costume, Peter Mayhew, you, might, you know, you couldn't really see his face. But now R two D two, if you knew what he looked like, is in the machine. But this guy is actually mm. his his image, his face is on the screen. So as you say, people recognise him immediately, and he has been again almost plucked from obscurity to become a megastar overnight mm. because of the role and because of the huge interest in this movie. Because I saw him on, I think it might have been Graham Norton, a Graham Norton chat show, mm. and he was so lovely. I mean, he was so humble, and he just kept yeah. saying, "I can't believe." Because you know they, they mix all the celebrities together, yeah. and he kept saying, "I can't believe that I'm on the sofa with them," and it's kind of like, "But you're equal status overnight yeah. Yeah. because you've done this film that everybody wants to yeah, watch." I know. It's... And I think so. How much it, with the new characters? Do they command? We saw Daisy Ridley there. Do they command as much, or does it depend on the character they play? It depends a bit. I mean, I, I <laughs> you would ask, why is he? quite considerably less than Daisy Ridley is purely because of the availability of what's around. I don't right. think Daisy Ridley has been seen around quite so much as John Baega because he has been doing so many other things. I mean, I've seen him on more, you know, more sort of shows and heard him in more plays, seen him at premieres because he's been doing so many different movies. Yes. I haven't seen Daisy Ridley around as much. So everybody wants her, but, but there's not find much that can't get it. So right. obviously that's pushed the price up. I don't think that's any reflection on John Baega. I think it's purely because of circumstances, really. So I mean, he's equally as of interest, you know. And how much do you need to sort of alter the price? Because obviously if you have like an actor and then they win an Oscar, mm. does it then go up? Or how does um, it work? It depends, not necessarily. I think it's more in the, the depth of character in the role. Like if they're a James Bond, massive, you know. If they're in a, one of these big Star Wars, Star Trek, big role in Harry Potter, flies really? up, you know. But if they just played a, mass, a great film and won an Oscar, it doesn't necessarily lift that amount. In, not in the international market, it doesn't really lift their value that much. Right. Oh, that's good to know. I thought I'd ask that. Um, so, John Boyega as Finn in Star Wars, a photo personally signed by him. The item code that you need is 100145. £79.95 £95 is your prize for that die-hard Star Wars fan. All you've got to do is click on the buy button follow the process check out your basket make sure you do that and then of course we'll send you email confirmation so you know you've definitely got it and you've got all the details of what you've got and then it's as simple as that you can track your delivery let's move on then so Gwendolyn Christie as Captain Phasma in Star yeah. Wars photo personally signed Gwendolyn Christie is she out of Game of Thrones um, she is, isn't she? Yeah. She is, isn't she? Yeah, She's the big well warrior woman, mm. isn't she? I mean, she doesn't. She looks very different in that yeah, photo. Isn't she, does. she not quite the same makeup? I was looking at it. it reminds me of going to lunch at the mother-in-law's this week without <laughs> face. You know. Is but that no, how no, you I'm, feel? You know, yeah. <laughs> so no, again, I should be rotten um, money kidding. But, being yeah. in Game of Thrones. Yeah. And obviously she signed this. You can't see her face as an actress, but no. she's in Game of Thrones, she's in Star Wars, two huge franchises. Yeah. Does that affect the price? 
it, it, it can well do. I think because the images are so divorced here, mm. you know, Games of Thrones, for the Games of Thrones fans, would still love her autograph, but they'd probably prefer it to be on a Games of Thrones related right. item. Okay. And the Star Wars fans would probably prefer it to be on a, on the real hardcore Star Wars, would rather it be on the Star Wars image. Yes. If you didn't have a choice, they would get either or. Right. But I would say that, um, yeah, if it if it's in a, if if it's in an image that's known for that movie, those fans will prefer it for the one. Oh, it's like understand. James Bond. No disrespect. If you had a photo, sign photograph of Sean Connery in one of his movies in the past, it might be worth, I don't know, 150, 200 pounds. If you had him as Sean Connery as James Bond, it'd be worth 400 pounds. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing, Big isn't difference. it? Big difference. Yeah. So will we be getting one of those? Maybe we should. Yeah, we'll try. Very, see. very hard to get, unfortunately. Well, we've got a, we've got a couple more to do. So shall I give you the details on this one then? Gwendolyn Christie as Captain Phasma in Star Wars photo, personally signed, seventy nine pounds and ninety five pence. The item code that you will need one zero zero one four six. All you've got to do is click on the buy button, follow through the process, check out your basket, and then you'll get your email confirmation, which I always find very reassuring. Mm. And then of course you can track your delivery. Delivery, no problems at all. So moving on now, we have got Oscar Isaac as Poe Dameron in Star Wars. Challenging me with these names today, oh, no, I have is to bit, say. Yeah. Seventy-nine pounds and ninety-five pence. He's very handsome. Yeah, yeah, he's not quite my type, but he's a good-looking <laughs> lad, you know. Is uh, no, I agree. It, the, the, once again, it's another character, recent character. This show is quite amazing. I've done many Star Wars shows, but to be frank, it's had one of the. You've never biggest, done one with me. I've though, never done Cass. one with you. That's why it's going to be so memorable for yeah. me. But you know, and for you, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this won't be on your show, Nightmares real, will now, it? Has it? <laughs> <laughs> but basically, but basically, you've got a good mix of characters. You've got the very early ones. You've got a good mix of the ones that have been on forever. You've got those that were massive stars who've been almost reincarnated and brought back. And then you've got the new ones. So it's something for everybody. Yes. You could accumulate an amazing collection of Star Wars characters and autographs and collection purely from this one show. But you'll have to be quick because do. we don't have that big stocks, and that's the key thing. Thing. And I, I quite like that though. I quite like the idea of buying something. You know, you know, not millions of people are going to have. Oh, no, sure. So it makes it very special. It's that gift that you know, you maybe don't. They don't even know that they want. No. But of you course. literally deliver it, and it's all about seeing, choosing, and enjoying, isn't I it? That's what we're about here that's what it's at totallyshopping.tv. And also very, very easy to buy with us. It might be that sometimes you might shop on the web and think, oh, I get a bit confused. You know these. Mm internet sites are very difficult to navigate around. This can be more opposite than that. It's so easy to navigate through. You click a button on the screen. That's about as hard as it gets, really, isn't yeah. it? And then you follow the process and it will take you through. And then once you've actually bought it, you check out your basket. You can even pay by PayPal, which I think is brilliant. So you yeah. know it's safe and secure. Then we'll send you email confirmation and then you can track your delivery, which is fabulous. It is. That's the great thing about it. It's a make you know, as we say, trying to make it user friendly. Mm. But the great thing is, well, and do check while you're on the website, have a little look around because you may find there will Something definitely else. be other items that aren't in this particular show yes. and some specials and some great products. Definitely. I'll give you the details that you need on this one then. Oscar Isaac as Poe Dameron in Star Wars photo, personally signed, £79.95. and pence. Like I said, all you've got to do is click on the buy button, follow through the process, check your basket out, and then, of course, you'll get your email confirmation. Now, Ian Muck... Now, how do I pronounce his name? McDarmid. I think so, yeah. Is that right? I think it's right. I'm, I'm going to have Star Wars fans throwing <laughs> things at the computer screens yeah. now. McDarmid. Um, as Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars photo version. Palpatine, is it? Palpatine. Palpatine. Potato, potato, tomato, yeah. tomato, yeah. Gaza. What can I say? Spud's where I come yeah. from. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't yeah. go in the song, though. No, 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 maybe um, not. But no. I like this. He's always put it in Tipex, so it's probably not Tipex. I'm going back a bit. <laughs> I don't Other mean it is Tipex. <laughs> no, it's actually what um, the pen that they use, most of the celebs these days, or the autograph dealers try to get them to use, is, is what's known as a Sharpie pen. Right, 
the Sharpie pen is um, is a special permanent marker. Right. So obviously that signature then is is there and will stay there forever. Right. You know that's very very important. Um, so what you've actually got there is a signature. When I'm talking about earlier about the sunlight damaging it and things mm. like that, the chances are it isn't going to damage that signature too well because it is really very um, you know it's signed Hard with wearing. a permanent pen. Yeah. And the Sharpie pen's great. It's like a special permanent marker. Right. Um, different colours. Is that what you sign your autographs in? <laughs> I sign mine in lipstick. <laughs> oh, that's <do> another story. <laughs> Oh, which colour? Reducing it. Yeah. You've got one for you, darling. <laughs> stop it, stop it. Sorry. But I do like the fact that you've got the, the black with the white writing. It's very impactful, isn't it? Well, that's what they try to do. You know, if you've got a black, obviously the white or the silver looks stunning. You know, mm. if, you've got a, if you've got a blue, then you want another a light colour to bring it out, you know. Mm. But they look terrific. They now do them. I mean, it used to just be blue, black. Then they did the silver. Then they do white. They do different colours now. But it's great because you, you can use it in theory, one, to match the sort of background of the image. Yeah, and I suppose once they've done a film like this, would they just have a certain amount that they'd sign and then that would be it? Or do they, does it keep on going? How does uh, it work? It depends, especially like he did a convention a few months ago and there was massive queues for his autograph because to my knowledge he hadn't done any in the UK for some considerable time, if at all. I'm not sure if he'd ever done one. Massive, massive queues, you know, from like six, seven, six hours people were queuing. Really? Well, they weren't really? queuing for six hours, but they were queuing up, you know, get, yeah, the, the queue never there. left up. And whereas normally they'll sign for an hour or maybe two hours, have a bit of a break, come back. I understand he was there virtually all day because the queues were so big. He mm. just got his head down and got on, you know, and signed and signed and signed. Wow. So that gives you an idea. But that tells you about how much passion, how much, yes. you know, the fans want a piece yeah, of their really character. They really do, don't they? Oh, when it's you see amazing. Them conventions, they're properly dressed up, not just oh, sort yeah. of the kind of mask you buy for 50p. I mean, it's they well, are. Well, no, that's character. right. And, and we, you know, a lot of them do. I mean, cosplay is huge. You know, mm. I mean, you know, when, they, when people go along and they dress in characters of their favourite. Can sort we talk of about that on here? Can we? <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's not that sort of event. You know, <laughs> well, not the ones I've been. Maybe we've been the different ones, but it's, um, you know, it's certainly there something that it's great fun. You yes, know, we love it. Well, there we go. Shall I give you the details? Stop this right now. This chat. Yeah. I'll give you the details for this one then. One zero zero one four eight is the item code that you're going to need. It's Ian McDermott as Emperor Palpatine or Palpatine in Star Wars photo. Personally signed, £119.95. So if you are a die-hard fan, I like the impactful nature of the, the autograph on the black of the, the character's outfit. It really stands out. And it could be the gift that you're looking for. You're really stuck. You know, it's something mm. which somebody would love to have and put it in a frame, put it on their wall. So if you'd like this, all you've got to do is click on the buy button, follow the very easy process in which to buy, and then, of course, you check out your basket. You must do that, otherwise somebody might swipe it That's while right. you're having a cup of tea. You don't want to do that. And then you'll get email confirmation very reassuringly, and then, of course, you can track the delivery. But I've enjoyed this. Whole yeah, it's hour been of Star great. Wars. It's been good fun, hasn't it? It has been good it's fun. Been and has the force been with you? Oh, it's been amazing. The force is still there with me darling oh, is you it? Know, that's another story here he goes here he goes <laughs> but like i say if you're not into star wars have a look around the website you might find other things that you want to see choose and enjoy but thank you for having us i'd loved it hmm.